guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tech It. This is Skirt Titus, and I am showing you our latest creation. That is our advanced alloys and uh, just advanced laboratories in general. We started work on this last uh, episode with a very rudimentary beginning. We just had our circles built and a stairway to this circle. As you can see, we've uh, completed our walls. Uh, we put in windows. We have just torch lighting up now. And I couldn't be happier with the way that this is starting to develop and, and, and really turn into a vision here. Um, first problem is, though, I completed the walls and I didn't give us a way in. So right now, the only way in, which is mob safe, I'll let you know, uh, is this hole right here. That's the only way into the building right now. We're going to be working on that. So first things first, speaking of an opening, um, this is where we're going to have our main doorway. It's going to be a grand doorway. I'm thinking maybe a 3x3. Three three. If not 3x3, three three, definitely 2x3. Um, we'll work on that, though, in the future upcoming episodes. Where's Phil? There's Philip right there. Say hi, Phil. Say Phil's a nice guy. Uh, Phil got stuck in our lab when we were building our walls, and um, I think he's decided to stick around for a while. So he's sort of our little laboratory assistant. And uh, this is what we made last episode. It's been condensed somewhat. Not this side, but uh, over here, I condensed the uh, automatic crafting tables, which um, actually produce our plant balls. And... Uh, we added this piece here, which is our condenser. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to take the plant balls from our two crafting benches and it's going to create compressed plants. Alright, but it does take juice, so for the time being we're powering with a, a generator. And this is just a simple setup with the generator going down there. Um... Yeah, I did also want to show you guys that the redstone changed somewhat, and it changed in large part because it is all connected now. Let's see here. So this is the line that comes off of that lever, and it goes into an inverter, which then, because power on stops the timer, power off allows the timer to go, but then we need to power everything else. So we invert the signal, and we run up there, and we also run it up the far side... Um, actually, it looks like that's going to need one more bit of redstone, doesn't it? Or maybe one more alloy wire, just to be safe. There we go. Alright, so that should do that, guys. Let's see how it works. Close our door, and turn her on. Alright, so we know this part works. We tested it at the end of the last episode, and it is functioning properly. Uh, let's flip this real quick. Uh, and actually do a little cheaty bit here. We'll throw our seeds in manually. I want to get this full because then those seeds are also going to double back um, into that crafting bench to create... Oh, you know what? Are we... Missing a tube? We may be. Doesn't it look like we're missing a tube there? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely missing a tube here, guys. There we go. Now we're connected up. Um, glass. Let me fix that real quick. I don't think we're making plant ball, or are we making plant balls yet, guys? Yes, we are. Okay, so there's our first plant ball, and you're going to see it make its way into the condenser here. Oh, actually... Never mind, I lied. There is uh, compressed plants coming out right there. So we've got all all these plant balls in here that we made last episode. And, ooh. Huh. I did not think that that would be faster than the compressor. We may have an issue with overflow. I'm not sure. But as you can see, there is our compressed plants. Okay, now the next step to our bio biofuel, green fuel, whatever you have, uh, is to get these compressed plants 
and uh, get them into biofuel or bio cells, which then can be extracted into biofuel cells. Cells. Ugh. And um, I actually have a plan to do that, um, but not up here. I want to do that down here. We've got all this space, and the the goal is that we're going to try to combine the um, biofuel and the coal fuel cell production because once you get to a certain point in that process they are one and the same so that's what we're going to use this space for down here or at least part of it uh, the only thing I have not yet figured out is if I want it to be a manual process of getting the compressed plants down there I'm thinking for the time being it will be because uh, it'll have to be a manual process for getting the coal in here as well since the coal comes from the quarries all the way over there. So that's where we're at right now, guys. I am going to go ahead and uh, watch the marvel that is the, um, I guess, the compressed plant room. That's kind of a horrible name, but that's what it's making, compressed plants. So let's just sit back, relax, watch this, and I will meet you once we have some headway down in the main lab. Alright guys, so we are back and we are down here on the main production level and this is going to be, uh, the more that I thought about this, what we're actually making down here is this is our canning facility. Uh, up there we're cr creating the compressed plant balls and what's happening down here is that they're just going to be extracted, put into cells and then cells are extracted in the fuel that's going to be put into our canning machines. And the key is that that process at the end that I said, the, uh, Extraction into cells and then cells into um, cans is done for both the biofuel cells and the coal fuel cells. So they'll both be done down here. So I'm thinking we're going to use this quadrant here for that. And it's going to take up a good bit of room. The main production line I want to run right here. Okay. And we're just going to do it right like that. And then behind it behind it probably right around here I want to have our tin and our tin production line because we're gonna have to be making tin cells also I don't want to just just have them so um, first thing that we need one of the one of the major components that we're gonna need is a, a ton of tin and I brought a little bit actually <laughs> I brought more and it's up here but uh, like I said, this is this is a really major part of this production is actually the tin that's needed to um, to make both the the cans and the cells that need filled. So let's go ahead and take care of that production line first. And this is going to be pretty uh, pretty simple actually. We're going to have an engine. All right, and that is going to go into our. Uh, worst at placing these ever. <laughs> that is going to go into our crafting table, and this is going to be for our cells. So let's lay out that recipe first. Our cells are quite simply done like that. All right, and that's our that's our cell compression or our cell um, production line. Now we also are gonna have to have. You know what I'm thinking? We're gonna have to have an engine. Oh, dang it! Um, we're gonna have to have an engine off of this line. Which am I out of redstone engines? Looks like I'm out of redstone engines. Um, yeah, I'm also gonna have to have that same tin coming out. Um, for the production of the, uh, I'm not going to have a brain fart, guys, I promise, for the production of the cans. So, let's make, um, we're going to need a lot more. We're going to need a lot more. Let's make four. Uh. <laughs> I forgot the iron. Okay. 
Now we're ready to go. Let me go ahead and get these made, and we'll, we'll meet back down there. All right, guys, I took a little bit of a break because I realized how dark it actually was in our facility. So I thought we would take a moment. We know nothing's going to spawn because the entire floor is covered with the stone slabs, which would prevent any type of mob spawning. But it's hard for recording uh, primarily, but also just for, you know, you know, nobody works in a factory in pitch darkness, all right? So what we're doing is we are going to try out something new, uh, something called Illuminator. Okay, and the recipe is actually really cheap. It's two refined irons, okay? Uh, insulated copper cable, uninsulated, I believe, low cable, and then glass surrounding the rest of it. And I believe that's it, yeah. Eight luminators. Now let's see how these work. Um, I have no idea. I've never done anything with them, so. How does it, is that, is that it? How do you power it? Can I put a switch next to it? No. Um. Oh. And it just breaks that glass, huh? Let's put it here. Let's try sending a current to it, maybe? Put a switch here. <laughs> I opened the door, but <laughs> it didn't power it. Um. Interesting. Let's uh, let's check these things out. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how they're supposed to work. Other than that, I thought it would be a a, a neat idea. Uh, the other option is going to be is using this Lumar and our and our remaining glowstone dust and make some more lamps, um, which I was. I was thinking about doing it that way um, and sort of color coding the floor. I may still do that. Um, there are gray and black lamps, which is kind of cool. Um, I thought for the coal section we could have black lamps, which would look kind of neat, and then uh, green for the uh, biofuel section or maybe the lime lamps. I don't know, you know, just th a thought that I was messing around with. Not anything we need to concern ourselves with today, necessarily, but uh, I thought this Lumar would be a cool project, but I can't get it to work. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and finish grabbing what I needed to in our workshop here, and I'll meet you back over at the advanced, uh, advanced labs. We need a cool name for it, too, guys. If you can think of anything... For our laboratory, our advanced labs processing plant. I don't know. Anything you can think of, just, just shoot it to me in the comments or in a message, all right? Anyway, I'll meet you back over there in a minute. Real quick, guys, I figured it out. It has to be powered by electricity, not by redstone. Um, that's kind of neat looking. I might... Uh What do you guys think about that? I'd say it really brightens up the place at least, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Something I'm messing around with. We'll leave those there. Um, we are going to need electricity for both our extractor and our canning machine, so we may be able to work out some of this as well. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I still haven't figured out what we want to do for electricity. Anyway, I'll meet you back over there. All right, guys, we're back down here, and we've got a lot of stuff laid out, but Philip is just so interested in this project. He uh, he needs to know what's going on, so I figured I'd bring him in on the loop, maybe let him help on some of the digging here. Uh, you know, it's pretty remedial work. I think a, I think a chicken could handle digging a hole. Um, he definitely knows how to get in the way, that's for sure. But what we're doing here is we're just trying to get a rudimentary set up for our um, redstone. Oh, look! Philip laid an egg. Come on, Phil! He's stuck. There you go. Good boy. I don't know, do you treat a chicken like you would a dog? Call him good boy and stuff like that? I don't know. Come on, Phil! Let's go! Come on! Phil, you're you're kind of you're kind of messing things. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so then where do we need this lever? Maybe we'll we'll put it right here, I guess. We just sort of 
there's a lot of redstone down here. Um, there's a lot of different paths things are going to have to run along. So I haven't got it all figured out. I just want to make sure that the layout of the machines is going to work first before we get too involved with um, wiring things. Now I brought a generator and this should be enough to power. If I put it there, it's going to put it there and then run a cable into this. That's kind of cool looking. Alright, so let's stand back and look at this for a second. And the main reason I went back to make Illuminator um, failed because I broke everything that we had on it. So let's, let me actually... What do I need? I need that ultra low current cable. Uh, what color would the tinning... Maybe we'll go. I don't know what to do, guys. Should we do illuminators or should we just do lamps? Um, for right now, maybe we'll just do some black lamps since I know I want to make those anyway. I want to show you real quick. I know this is totally off topic, but our mob spawners, our dual mob spawners, are doing tremendous. Look at all the gunpowder we're getting. That's insane. I'm going to run out of room soon. That means we're going to have to make our TNT plant really quick. Um, but bones for bone meal not a problem anymore i've been taking it out of here stacks at a time and we're still loaded um no bows which makes me think that you actually have to kill the um the skeleton to get bows but arrows we got tons of arrows uh slime balls we've had tons of slime balls and actually i haven't seen this number increasing i'm wondering if we're having an issue down below but uh, zombie flesh which i have an idea to do something cool with this and zombie miss, funny thing, ink sacks. We know that zombies don't drop ink, but with all the waterways, I'm guessing, in there, um, we're getting ink sacks. So, I guess an added byproduct, guys. Actually, we're going to need a lot of glass. Alright, okay. Glass. Um, we're going to need this. Now, I'm going to make some black lamps, and along with some more illuminators, I'll meet you back over there with the well-litted factory this time, I promise. Advanced laboratory, sorry. Whatever we're calling it, I'll meet you back over there while it's well-lit. <laughs> Alright guys, so, uh, this is a little bit better. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do with these things. I just wanted to, to get a little bit more light down here. Let me show you real quick what I did with that other one. I uh, will repeat it over here. And then I think we're ready to test this out. Um, let me see. Kind of keep it within the framework of the uh, building here. Phil, you are just such a intuitive, interested little guy. I can't believe... No, I don't think it was an accident that you ended up in my lab is what I think. I think that you purposely came here to learn and you're doing a fantastic job. Let me tell you that, buddy. Where'd you go? Phil? Let's get the brain of a chicken. But that's all we're doing is just we're putting a lamp down here and uh, connecting a, a, a switch to it. Pretty basic. I also made some illuminators and uh, put them around. Let's do one more right here and then we'll test this out. Okay. And actually, I don't even have to go down there. I don't know why I was doing that. Let's do that. And actually, let's do it a way where we're pretty sure we're not going to have any sort of redstone because lamps can and there's that. Okay, so things are lit up a little bit better. I think it'd be cool if we sort of maybe surround this with the with the dark walls, the black, or maybe even the black cobblestone would be cool. But let's get started here, guys. So we've got this full of tin. We've got our pattern laid out here for cells, which is going to send cells here. And in this, we have our compressed plants. We may actually need another chest to put compressed plants into that, aren't, aren't we? Mm, you know what else I just thought of? 
We're not going to be able to do... We'll have to change this here. Okay, no, this is all right. Then they're going to go into the extractor. Up here, be extracted. And then the extractor is going to send our biofuel cells into our canning machine here. It's then going to have cans in the bottom, which it's going to get from this bench that makes our empty fuel cans, which gets tin from there. All right, let's. I'm I'm excited. Let's flip all the switches and see what happens. Hopefully, we don't run out of tin. Um, let's do it. There's that one. Let's flip this one. This one. And we got this one, right? I think that's it. I think that's all of them, guys. Biofuel cells. They're going. We don't have... No, oh, no, no, no. Wait a second. Why are they going? Oh, because they're going in the side. Stop, 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 stop. It's got to go in the top. See, that's why I didn't want to get too much laid down. Because of... Did we get any tin over here yet? Did this guy get any tin? No, it didn't. Did we turn that off? We turn that off. Turn this off. Was this one getting power? That one wasn't running. Huh. Let's do this here. That's weird. Okay. We're going to let that get... Um, what do we need to do? Oh, this needs to go into the top of this. Okay. Not a problem. Alright, guys. There we go. So... Oh, dummy. Oh, <laughs> done. Hold on. This is supposed to connect here. I just broke that. There we go. So those are going to go there. That's there. Oh, generator. Generator. Thought we had it all set up. Is this going to work here? No, oh, not there. Shoot. Crush your fingers, guys. Oh, generator there. Generator there. Come on. Why won't it let me put a generator here? Is it because of this? There we go. Alright, generator there. Uh, generator power. Four blocks of coal. That's really going to get things going, isn't it? Alright, that's getting juice. It's connected. Let's connect the rest of these up top. That's kind of neat looking. That'll work. Okay. That. Phil, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's t look at him. He's telling me. We got to get this in place. Quick. That's what he's saying. <laughs> he, is, he actually is helping. It's amazing. All right. Bio cell. That's not right. This should be a biofuel cell, right? Is this a biofuel cell? Biofuel cell. Here we go, guys. Drum roll, please. Okay, this is going to take forever. And we're out of coal. Do we have more coal up here? We need more coal stat. I like saying stat. It makes me feel like a doctor. No, we don't. We have coal dust. It'll work. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Quick. More juice. Coal dust. You're supposed to work. Oh, no. Do we have more up here? Maybe? Maybe? This is why we don't use generators normally, guys. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, this is horrible planning by me. I'm sorry, guys. Um... 
let me go grab some more coal. <laughs> we'll get this done. I promise, guys. Alright, guys. Here we go. A whole stack of coal. Let's see what that gets us. Hopefully something good. Come on, Jenny. Where's our power? Looks like it's working. Why isn't it working? Oh, did we get one? No. Bio cell, bio cell. Alright, those are supposed to go in this. Uh. Oh, we only have one compressed thing left. Okay, so we don't need tin, so we can leave this one off. I And you know what? I may have to leave most of these separated, I guess. I usually like having one master switch, but... Oh, you know why? Because it takes multiple cans to fill it. Build fuel can, guys. What do you think? Pretty awesome. We did it. We hit some hiccups in the road, but um, with the help of Phil, we got things cooking. We got our tin. How much tin do we have back there? We're doing good. We're doing all right. We need fuel cans. We're getting another fuel can. How's our Jenny doing? 60. See, now the, th the, the plan here is... I'm thinking I could take a filled fuel can. Why isn't it coming out? Filled fuel can. It's not pumping out. Why aren't you pumping out? I don't understand. That goes in that side, that goes inside, and this comes out here, right? Can we not pump out items? That's interesting. Um, but no, what I, like, what I was going to say is I'm thinking that we'll be pretty good because we can um, use the fuel cell. We can generate one to power ourselves first, and then the rest that we produce can go to other places. Uh, the reason I'm thinking that is because just by burning one lump of coal, all right, one lump of coal is... 4,000 EU, okay? Now, you can see the Jenny is, is burning up a lot. But, six biofuel cells, which is what's in one full can, is 26,040 EU. So, one, one lump of coal, 4,000. Six biofuel cans, 26,000. Okay? That's almost... Uh, <laughs> and do you believe, guys, I have a math miner? That's how good my math skills are. Oh, my goodness. 3287 times. Six and a half times, we'll call it. But that's six and a half times more powerful, more efficient than... Um, you know what? We're going to do. We're going to take our screenshot with Philip in it. That's probably going to be our episode cover here, guys. But um, that's what I'm thinking, guys. This is our canning facility. It's lit up as promised. We've got our um, Phil. You're leaving your eggs everywhere. Uh, we've got our lamps. We've got our cells. How are we doing for for bio for for tin cells? Why isn't this one? Oh, because we we need more compressed plant balls. Do we have any more? We don't have any more. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. Let me throw these in there. We'll get some more cells going. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned a good bit. I did as usual. Um, but this has been Screw Titus. Another episode of Let's Play my, or Tech It. Get my, uh, my series crossed there. And uh, I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. We'll see ya.